Where are we at? We are at the Florida Horse Park in Ocala, Florida. Mm -hmm. And we are here for their RV show. Yeah, it's um, supposed to be a bunch of vendors. Nine, there's nine vendors or nine RV vendors um, in the area, including General RV, which is like right down the road. We passed it on our way in, um, but I'm fascinated by <laughs> like, all of the horse fields. Yeah. Because they also have a horse show going on. Right, see the horse shows. <laughs> like, I might leave the RV show to go. I disappear just to go find right. me at the horses. <laughs> also, this is the uh, first time we have taken the truck off the pavement. Yeah. So we're, we're, in, we're in grass. Yes, we're in grass. Hopefully, it's not uh, raining, though. Um, oh. It's not raining, so it's okay. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. Yeah. It's a little bit cloudy skies. Yeah. Should be nice. 73 degrees outside. So, should be good. We're going to go check out what this RV show has to offer. So, some people ask, why are we going to an RV show? Um, because we're happy with our Mo, so we don't yeah. need a new RV. But, it's one, it's fun to look at new things. Absolutely. Um, two, we get to meet people. <laughs> yep. Which is always fun. All right. So, we maybe messed us a few as our... We messaged a few of our members and hopefully we can meet up with them while we're here. Yeah. Don't miss the biggest sale of the year. If y'all have followed our channel at all, you know that we love our mattress by rvmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. Yes, and we have the Aurora, and we've had it for over two years now. Yes. Love it. February made two years. It keeps her cool. It keeps me warm. <laughs> and like I'm sitting on it right now, and it's like so cold to the touch. Like and it's, it's the perfect. With this mattress, you do get a 120 night trial. So if you don't like it, you can send it back and get a new one. Right, and so they work with you on it. So, and then it also has a 10 year warranty. So if anything happens, it's also covered. And it shipped right out of Phoenix, Arizona. Their factory is in Phoenix, Arizona. Yep, so right out of the United States. Yep, it's called the American Dream Factory. And with our code rvmattress.com forward slash strange, you typically get 25% off. However, for April, yes, if you order before the end of April, you can get 35% off your new mattress. Yes, there's a little bit of a trick to it though. You have to, when you go to our link, you have to put in your phone number, and then when it texts you, you have to put a Y for yes, and when you do that, they'll send you the discount code for the 35% off. 35% off a new mattress. Through the month of April. Yep, so go get your new mattress from rvmattress.com by Brooklyn Betty. Yes, and use the code STRANGE. Yep. RVmattress.com forward slash strange. All right. We'll put it in the description. Click the link. Don't forget, use your phone number. Get the discount. Bye. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure. Welcome to the next video. And in today's video, we are at the Ocala RV Show. <laughs> right. And then that is actually put on by the same Florida Trade Show Association that does the Florida Super Show. Mm -hmm. Down um, in Tampa. Down in Tampa. There's nine RV vendors mm -hmm. here, um, including General RV, which is where we got our rig from, but yeah. not the one here in Florida. We went to Ohio. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool because we're actually on 
horse fields mm -hmm. <laughs> at the moment. And, and I'll spare the drama. Oh, we're getting ready. We're gonna get ran over. Yep, I'll spare the drama. We're not shopping. Uh, we're no, just here. We're just here checking it out and uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully to meet some of our members. Yep, and having just a fun day looking at RVs. Yeah. So, so it looks like there's a line to get in. Let's see which ones. We'll give you some information as we go through and uh, check out some RVs. Oh, they do cards. You want to do card or you want to just do the cash? And is your change. Thank Enjoy you. the show. Thanks. Thank you. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Hello, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Thank you. You're welcome. The first RV we actually get to is the Grand Design Momentum 397 TH, and this is a toy hauler. This is in the red, white, and blue, which is like a 10th anniversary edition. Uh, it has a 14 foot garage and actually this is one of the few that have a full bath in the garage, which is pretty nice The price show price was hundred and forty thousand dollars I noticed that they've went to a lighter interior with the uh, with the grand designs, which is starting to come around looking pretty good uh, It does have the bathroom with the Jack and Jill big shower just like normal and then an east-west bed, which is what I really love about this particular floor plan. And I love the closet set up up front. And then they also have the dresser that has a slide top instead of a flip top so that everything can kind of stay on it, which is really nice. Now, for those of you wondering, this one comes in at 16,700 pounds and has a GVR of 20,000, which gives you a cargo capacity of just over 3,100 pounds. Now this next one was really cool because it was a Ram 5500 that had been lifted and then a hole cut through the cab into basically like a camper on the back. And this thing was massive and really, really nice inside. The company did an amazing job at specking this thing out and giving you lots of space for what it was. It actually has one of the bathrooms where the entire thing is like your shower. So it does have a full shower in there and then just a lot of sitting room, a lot of storage room, and you can get in and out of the cab from inside. So you don't actually have to go outside to get into the front. So they said that Ram 5500 over there, sitting right there, 440, 446K. Yeah, so I, I we went to the, we went to the RV Gotta go just clean my sock drawer out so I can get some change. I don't think there's anybody in this one. Yeah, you wanna go in that one? You can. Go for it. Go ahead. Tell me what you like. You like looking in these vans? I, mean, I like vans, but I don't like thinking about living in a van. Although it does have... Oh, this so, one's actually pretty big. It's actually got a lot of seating. But there's a couch here with a cabinet over it. Okay. So I don't understand. Like, you can't sit there. All right. Well, let me come back there. But it's got this swivel table. Yeah. Yeah, that you can't you can't pass anybody. Like, no. two people yeah. makes the space really difficult. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a built-in. I just ottoman. don't know why they would have like why not put a long cabinet there. There, yeah. You gotta watch your face when you're opening these cabinets. Open it from the side. <laughs> this is the the dash is nice. Yeah. Now I will say that bathroom is big enough for Michaela. Yeah. I like the front end of their travel trailer. They are pretty. That's pretty. I like how they defuse the lights. So it's not just the strip, that whole kind of thing glows. The yeah, G this is the toy the hauler. G should the, be Z, the, the G toy hauler. Look at that. Look at that Gen Y. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Big storage. I do like these. It's got, the, it's got the dryer vent already. Yeah. Ready? I didn't see it on the side though. So I think you still have to drill on the side of the race. They probably do. Everything's just the finish around the TVs and the windows. It's all very nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that there's like a blank wall that you can do things right. with. Not everything is taken up. 
Look at that. Very pretty. I love their furniture too. They did a really good job with interior decoration. All right, let's go check out the the new new Brinkley. The new new Brinkley. All right, this is the Brinkley 3950. This is the one with the U couch that everybody loves. So we'll start in the bathroom here. I do like they added that light strip, which is pretty nice. Give you some some light in there when it's not when you don't have natural light. The front. Very modern feeling. And then you got your built-in. This is kind of standard. Like I've noticed that most most manufacturers do stuff like, like kind of like this right here. And then we go into the living room area where we have Cindy and friends. And there's the U-shape. The big U-shape couch. No, you're fine. I mean, this, it'd be really cool. I mean, certain things, Super Bowl, would be great right there. Hors d'oeuvres right here. I don't even have to get off the couch. Just reach behind me. And make a mess. Grab some food. You're not keep a, feeding my mouth. You're not a, a, a clean eater, so. Yeah, I would definitely be making a mess. Sit in the corner and then reach over. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right here? Yeah, I'll sit in that corner. Yeah. Reach. Perfect. Can record you doing that? <laughs> it's perfect. They do a nice job here, too, with these, these drop downs. We got MSRP of 206. Show price, 157K. You got the big, now the pantries, you actually do that to release them. Huge pantry. Like that. And then you have a 14 foot garage here. And so this garage also has uh, this kind of modular setup for a bathroom here. And it's a European style sink. What that means is that this thing drops down and that's your sink. And now your sink's up out of the way. And then they did a really good job with the LED lights in the back as well, all the way around. Because when you put this, the bad thing about toy haulers is when you put this bed up, you lose all the light underneath it. So it's really nice that you have those light strips. I don't know how much of a fan I am of like just being sectioned off. I'm not sure I'm in But I also feel like I would feel better if this was a wider walkway right here, maybe. That's true. We have some friends that have purchased this rig, so we'll get to see it at some point. I'll also say this is some, something really cool, is that they they give you the option to either have a Gen Y fifth wheel with the torsion. Torsion is basically this right here. It um, allows it, gives it, like has some give. Or you can do the gooseneck, which is what we're looking at right now in what we just installed. So we're pretty excited about, about that. It was, it's a very smooth, smooth ride so far, but I love that they actually give you the option from the factory and wow, this has a carrying capacity of 4,863 pounds. This is the 4,000, the Z4000, I believe. The railing is really nice. It's very modern. Everything's modern, very modern looking. Yeah, every, everything's very modern feel. This is also Moride. This is the Model G 4000. Look, it comes with Chick-fil-A. So that's good. So the Model G 4000 is essentially like the Momentum 397, except you get a 16 foot garage in this one. So the garage is a little longer, making it an overall length of 45 feet. It's a big, heavy rig. All right, Brinkley 2024 model G4000. That's got the bigger garage. So let's check out. It's basically the same. And then the lights are working. I guess they turned the batteries off. It's basically the same front layout as the last one. Where you see a big difference here is this 
kind of typical design of of the living area of a garage. I mean, of the uh, RVs, especially toy haulers. What's nice is they actually have this flip up counter right here that will latch to this. So it kind of gives you like a U-shaped feel, which is pretty nice. And then I think they do a great job with their, their leather couches and stuff like that. And then you get a 16 foot garage on this. I mean, it's a massive, massive garage. And a half bath back here. So yeah. Oh, that half bath has a fan. So that's nice. Very cool. Look what we have here. Look at the Tesla Cybertruck. What? No way. That is so ugly and so cool at the same time. It is very cool. Exactly. Oh my gracious. Instead of getting yeah, diesel, you have get electricity. Yeah. But you're gonna be there for hours. <laughs> right. Look, Look how big that. that windshield is. What do you think of that? I think it's pretty cool. That is. Look at the little ladder. Rigging awesome. <laughs> that big one. <laughs> Nick's gonna be very upset that he didn't come. Okay, so this is this is new level of uh, of camping right here, for sure. The back has a screen too. Kind of a Lambo feel. He said that there's two tanks on it to fill up for the electric. You know, kind of a Lambo feel. Look at the sensor. Oh, you're full time. Yeah, you got one in the door over there too. Look. That's kind of cool to see in person, up close. All right, highlight of the show. It's pretty cool that we came. <laughs> What'd you think of the cyber truck? We're gonna buy one. You gonna order one? No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. Okay, you get your Cybertruck and I'll drive the F450. Yeah, right. that's fair. That's cool. So what'd you think? I think it was a cute RV show. That was a cute RV show. It's a little and bit bigger than the one we went to in Daytona, but a lot smaller than Tampa. And having the Tesla Cybertruck. Oh my gosh. You, was, lo you love that little thing. That was pretty cool. That was really cool. That, that, that made the show. For you. For Yes. Not yeah. for everybody. Absolutely. I like the... Ram 5500. Mm. I think that was more innovative than the than the Tesla Cyber. Four hundred forty thousand dollars. Yep. And you, you can probably hear it starting to rain on us. So we're we're getting out of here. I'm wet already because I highly would... recommend if you get a chance if you're in the Ocala area to uh, to check out this little RV show because yes. it, it's definitely worth it. And then I heard that there's also another RV show in Orlando, but I think it's after we're already gone. Oh. Okay. So. All right, well, hope you enjoyed this video. Yes. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, make sure you subscribe. Ring the bell so you get notified when we release our next video. And a huge thank you to Brad and Deb for meeting us out here at the camp, uh, the Ocala show. Yep. Um, we really enjoyed walking around with you guys. Absolutely. Until next strange adventure. Keep making your own.